good morning. We did something we usually don't do. We slept in. Nine, almost 10 hours sleep. That's almost double what we had per night on the group cruise. <laughs> We're late getting going, so we're gonna go see if we can grab a snack at the buffet and then just go find a lovely chair to relax on in the sea day. So today's a sea day and it's not too bad. A few clouds out there, some sunshine. Temperature isn't overly hot, not cold, just right in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we're probably gonna see if we can find something to do outside. Maybe show you some 360 footage of what the seashore looks like up top and go to the buffet right now for breakfast. So let's get going. Let's do it. We are playing Journey of the Secret Word once again. In this video, you're looking for one of seven letters for this vlog series. We are excited to announce that Level 8 will be rewarding the winner with a piece of luggage. Good luck, everybody. Ooh, the much dreaded elevators. 16, car B. B, over there, other side. Okay, we are here in the buffet. It's buffet chaos time. You can always tell. A ship by how busy its buffet is. And this one is crazy. Okay, the hunt continues. We've walked up and down the buffet. No seats anywhere. Hook, success, table for two. We found one. Off to go find some food. What'd you find? All right, I got a little variety of stuff. I went with a pancake with some whipped cream and I found some hash browns, a croissant. I had to, couldn't resist. This looked too good. Of course, bacon over on the side here. I found a station that didn't have a lot of people. Guess what's in it? <laughs> fruit. Remember the fruit versus bacon? <laughs> it's winning on the MSC as well. Fruit loses every time to bacon. A little sampling of what's available. We got some eggs, some bacon, some hash browns, some sausage, and some more eggs. Okay, wait till you see what I found at the buffet. Despite all the chaos in here, I found a section that was pretty quiet, and I found some really interesting things. So first of all, I made myself a little croissant McMuffin, and sausage, hash browns, a little uh, cream cheese kind of bun. But the star of the show is in the center of the plate. Oh this my. is, if you can believe it, a Pop-Tart. I have never seen a Pop-Tart at a buffet before. Look at that. You've heard me say over the years that I'm traveling with a three-year-old when I'm with Mr. Canuck. So here, here is more proof. Chicken nuggets, meatloaf, and a Pop-Tart. Pop -tart. There you go. Mrs. Canuck went and got me a tea. And they're giving out free MSC cups with every tea today. We are done with the buffet breakfast. It was actually not too bad today. It was more enjoyable in the dining room, if I'm telling you the truth. And I always tell you the truth. Okay. Bridge of size. Right below us. Mrs. Canuck just took off and she's heading that way. There she is. Mrs. Canuck! Did you get that joke? Some might have. <laughs> Off we go. Okay, we've got a MSC ship going by. Not sure which one it is. I think it looks smaller than the one we're on right now though. There we are up top. We are on deck 18. And I don't know, maybe it's deck 19. It says top 19. <laughs> Not sure. Well, I wanted to point out something. So we sat somewhere similar to this on the seaside. You can see uh, the chairs around there. And then in behind me, you can see this blast off area. This is where the Aurea Spa area is on deck. But what I found interesting is there's a hot tub right there past the glass. So on the seaside, this whole area included that hot tub for the general use of everybody on the ship. On this ship, they've moved the glass wall forward. And now the hot tub we used to have up in this area for everyone else is only for Aurea Spa people. So. Yeah, it seems to be a trend on this ship compared to Seaside is that a lot of the public areas have been reduced in size when they added 500 people and increased specialty paid services is the trend across the board. So anyways, got to find some sunglasses. Mrs. Canuck should be here any minute and we're going to do some relaxing up deck. I have assumed the position. Now it's time to relax. Just watch the clouds go by right up there. There's my view. There's a little bit of ocean past the glass over there too. I just want to hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution.
enjoying first drink of the day. And it is a margarita, but our easy package doesn't include frozen. Just on the rocks. Isn't that an odd distinction that uh, the extra expense of using a blender does not work? So here I am on the rocks, Team Mrs. Canuck, because uh, our package doesn't cover Team Mr. Canuck. Oh well, still a day at sea, enjoying a cool drink. Oh, so what does a vlogger do when they're relaxing on deck? Well, of course, they play with the new camera gear. This is the new GoPro. The footage has been looking a little bit blurry in the last couple of tests I've done since I bought it on the Princess ship, so I'm giving it a try out now. Hopefully I'm not blurry and I've got the settings figured out. Comes Mrs. Canuck, she's got some food. She had to walk a long way because you can see we're, we're in the buffet, but they really like to put up these barriers everywhere. They like to really force the lineups instead of just open it all up so we can all enjoy it. But it's well afternoon and half the buffet still closed. Okay, they have these cool little uh, drink carts that they roll around the buffet, which is kind of handy for getting drinks. I kind of like the idea. Well, the pizza was so good last night, I had to grab another pizza. I have a fish taco over here, some ginger salmon here, and veal parmesan here. With some smashed potatoes is what they called these. Some kind of potato or taco over there too. You didn't tell us about. And it's not fish taco. <laughs> okay, I wasn't listening you again. You don't listen to me. <laughs> I did say fish taco, right, everybody? <laughs> I have video proof of it. As he said, I didn't say anything, but I did. Off we go hunting for food. What's behind the little white walls? Does anybody ever want to know? <gasps> oh, there's food back in there. We just can't get to it. Okay, guess I have to go and get into a lineup at the other end of the hall. The walls of white continue, but there is food behind there. See? Pizza I could have right now, right there. <laughs> walls, walls, all with food behind it. Row after row of food. You get to where the food is open, and there's lineup after lineup. So, crazy. Open the food, please. Hey, what'd you find this time? I'm trying a medley of desserts. This looks like a Rice Krispie square, so I thought somebody here might be wanting one of those. Ooh, I like that. And oatmeal raisin cookie, and some sort of chocolate ganache cake, and they had strawberries on it, and she gave me a strawberry, so looks good. My fallback position I'm see is always a pizza. So I grabbed a slice of pepperoni. I did have some beef nachos a second ago that were really good. So I'm hoping to get more and be able to show you those on film too. And some Rice Krispie squares. I squeezed off the pink icing. I'm just gonna have the Ice Krispies. I had some of these earlier, I had to go get more. It looks like a mess, but it is. Beef and cheese nachos with some guacamole and sour cream. All right, we are on the move. We are going from the buffet and down to the spa to see if we can book our one hour spa treatment we get for being gold members. Let you know how we make out. We're hoping to do it tomorrow at Costa Maya. That's all the words she has. Mm -hmm. She's so That's, focused on the spa. Well, I got I'm trying to <laughs> determine in my head if I'm on the right deck or not. I'm close. We'll right. see. We're close. Okay, we have made it. We are here at the spa reception. We are booked in at one o'clock tomorrow for one hour. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if I can stretch it to an hour 15 and see what happens. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Off we go, we have a balcony. We should try it out. We're gonna go use our balcony this afternoon. So we're getting in some balcony time. And one little tip we've known or learned, I guess. You see that deck below us down there? That is a smoking section. So starboard side of the ship, the balcony has got a little bit of smokiness wafting up here. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I don't notice it, and some more times I do. I guess it depends on how many people are down there smoking. <laughs> what book are you reading today? Oh, I'm reading Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. Mm -hmm. See, nice quiet sea day in the balcony. We don't get a lot of balconies, but when we do, we like to enjoy them a little bit on days like this. Yeah. And you can't see it because the sun's in the way, but way down there, we're heading towards Mexico. Our stop tomorrow. to get ready for formal night tonight. So time to hit the showers, get out the fancy clothes. And next time you see me, I'm gonna be in a tie. 
Let's do it. Not that way. That way. <laughs> the cabin is that way. Good evening. Good evening. We are fancy now. It is formal night. Formal night. And I don't even know what's going on formal night, do you? Well, we have tickets to see a Broadway-style show tonight in the main theater after dinner. Okay, I thought there was something with the captain. Oh, there is. Yeah, there is. That happens at 8.30, so we should be out of the show for that. Yeah. Okay, hmm. so we're going to go out, see what's going on on our formal night on MSC uh -huh. after a day of relaxing at sea. Is that all? I think so. What about backup dresses? No. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, guys. <laughs> Yep. If there's a dress that happens to have a malfunction, then there's backup dresses available, I found out tonight. <laughs> so, one of the very first formal dresses I ever bought for the very first vlog we were on, I packed to, again to bring on this trip. The zipper has always been really tricky. Anyways, tonight when I went to put it on, we realized that the zipper was sort of tearing, falling apart. So, it wasn't going to work. So. Luckily, I have lots of dresses. There's I the, found a, there's the backup dress. I found a backup dress. <laughs> we go. <laughs> I don't back up suits. This is all you're getting. <laughs> okay, off we go. We in a drink for a formal night. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the backup dress, it is purple. Burgundy. About five eighths length. It's burgundy. And it's burgundy too, as well as purple, with goldish colored high heels. Off we go to find that drink. Unless you want to hear about me, blue suit. Purple tie to match the purple burgundy dress. Burgundy. The burgundy tie to match the burgundy dress. How was that? Perfect, eh? Okay, time to go. I even have burgundy socks on, but I'm not gonna show you those because I'd fall over. Okay, for those who didn't see the front of the dress, that's the front part. She's gone. We are entering the main atrium area for formal night. I don't see any other suits yet. I'm gonna keep looking though. There's the socks I was telling you about. Hey. I was filming your feet. Okay, first appetizers come out. 20 minutes in, Mrs. Canuck has been the successful one. I am having shrimp cocktail. Cocktail. I'm waiting for mine still. Take a look, there's a peek at some of the bread that was provided. My appetizers arrived just a few minutes later and I am having the Caesar salad. Okay, second appetizer for Mrs. Canuck. And I have gone with the French onion soup tonight. All right, my dinner has arrived. Look what I have tonight, guys. I have some grilled shrimp and some lovely lobster. Look at that lobster. And I'm having french fries. No, I wouldn't just have french fries. I'm gonna have some chicken. I asked for chicken with a side of fries instead of mashed potatoes. I got a whole plate of fries, so I'm gonna dive in. Well, Mrs. Canuck enjoys a little bit of some lobster. I am having wine for dessert. And over here, I'm frying the cheesecake. Canuck looks like she's going to the casino. Oh my gosh. Woo. I can't be in the right level. I gotta go one more? I think we're in the wrong level. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble if I'm filming here. I gotta turn the camera off. Okay, we got a little bit of sunset action happening off the edge of the ship. We just stopped real fast at the Manhattan Lounge. Listen to Wendy and her brother. But I was distracted by the sunset that was coming out right in front of us here off the starboard side of the ship. Take a look, we're looking pretty spectacular this evening. Quick update on dinner. Dinner service was a little better tonight. It was about an hour 20, hour 25. So pretty average for most cruise ship dining rooms. So that was good. Everybody enjoyed the lobster, steak, my chicken. Nah, that's just a me thing, of course. But uh, yeah, good service tonight. So back into here, Wendy.
all the way to go to the theater. That explains the funky lighting. <laughs> and we're gonna catch a show. What's it called? I don't know. I forget what it's called, but I know it's a, a Broadway show with uh, songs from all the famous Broadway and West End shows like Chicago, La Miserable, that sort of thing. Okay. If you remember the show name, we'll tell you later. <laughs> Update. It's called Encore. It According is. to some people, they got married on a cruise ship. Right there. <laughs> this way. Theater, we're just here, right when the door is open. It's packed. Okay, we're gonna find a seat. We are in the theater, waiting for the show. What's the verdict? If someone needs to get by on your aisle, do you stand up and let them go by? Or do you stay sitting there making Paul curious? PBSC Productions in Hong Kong! What did you think of Encore? It was very good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. They did some great musicals. Mm -hmm. They did La Miserable, of course. They did um, Hairspray, a whole bunch of Chicago, a whole bunch of famous ones that you would know. What's missing for me is a live band, though. Yeah, well, we're spoiled. Princess does that. We just got off Princess Ship that did it, but you're right. That would make it that much better if there was a live band accompanying the singers because they were wonderful yeah. singers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And set designs, it's not a five skies, but. No, no. <laughs> but but yeah. the dancing is really good. The singing, the talent is there with their staff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. So that's two nights in a row. We've had two productions, so, so we'll see how many more we can get. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like out. there's a, what, another one tomorrow I just booked reservations for. There you go. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna wander around, see what kind of trouble we can get in around the ship tonight. All right, let's, let's go. do it. He's our captain, Captain Isafu. Thank you very much. Good evening, We're going through the tunnel tonight. We're red. We are red. On the way to the Cabaret Rouge. Makes sense. People are finding out about your secret lounge back here every night. It's a little bit busier than the night before. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like our secret spot. Okay, we ended up at Le Cabaret Rouge. See what's gonna happen here. It starts another 10 minutes from now. We're up front row, so we're gonna get a good shot of the action for you tonight. On the move again. We have left the Cabaret Rouge and we are heading towards the main theater to see what's going on down there. I think we got a show. Going by the atrium. And we are back in the main atrium for something that's going on here. We'll tell you about it in a second. Okay, we're here for MSC's version of the Love and Marriage show. So we usually don't show this because it can get a little risque and kind of just filming private people if we do. So, anyways, we'll give you an update when we're done. 
and likely back in the cabin because it's getting late already for the show. First question is, when, when, and where did you first meet? We are done with the love and marriage though. I'm out of breath because I don't have enough elevators on the ship. So I've been doing a lot of stairs because that's good for me. Thanks MAC for working me out on my vacation. Back to the cabin. Good night. Uh -huh. That's the end of her. It's after midnight. It is. Love and marriage show ran very, very long. It did, for sure. Ooh. Yeah, so it's always a fun time, especially the older couple. Oh, they're always so, yeah. For sure. But I dreamed the day that one of the cruise lines finds a new question to ask. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter what cruise line we're on, they're same all questions. asking the exact same questions. So, Get yeah. creative, people. Up update the questions, guys. <laughs> yeah, we've all heard the same questions, mm -hmm. especially been on 40 cruises. I've heard those questions 40 times. Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't gone to it every time, but yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, always fun with the older couple for sure. Yeah. And earlier this day, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, relaxing day, the things you like to do on cruise ships, sit, watch the ocean go by, read a book, Yeah. sit on the balcony. We enjoy that when we have a balcony. Yes. Yeah. So, and then I guess meal time. I'm sure a lot are curious because we've had some kind of iffy experiences. Yeah, tonight, in my opinion, was the best night so far. What do you think? I think so. I guess my, my biggest concern is lunchtime buffet. Yeah. And not because of food quality, not because of lack of options, because they kept like half the buffet closed when you had thousands of people flooding in and all the food was prepared. So that's the problem. This is the largest ship, the most people we've ever seen on a cruise. Uh, and it's the only option is the buffet. Now today was a sea day, so they do have dining, dining room. room. Yep. But it's so hard to get into there. We've been fighting with trying to get tables in the dining room, so we just thought we'd do the buffet. But yep. They need to figure this out. When you're trying to feed almost 5,000 people, you need to have more than a, a tiny little spot open for all those you, people. You got to open the buffet. You got the food ready. Yeah. We saw, I saw people trying to like get behind the white panels they had closed to try to eat or asking the officers why they won't open the panels. It was very confusing, actually. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of that type of making lineups when they don't need to. They've got the facilities. Yeah, I don't know. It. it was weird. I don't know. Yeah, confusing for sure. But so. our main dining room tonight was really good, and so that that was great. I really enjoy yep. that MSC offers uh, lobster because some cruise lines have gotten away from doing that yep. in their main dining room. Um, so and it was delicious, and it came with some grilled shrimp, which was really good too. So we all enjoyed our meal. Everybody had something different, but um, yeah, the main dining room tonight was a good experience. Yep. And pomo night for me is always a challenge because I'm not into the seafood or the steaks. So, right. so it's normal for me to have like chicken or something really plain or pasta. So that's just the way it is. That's a me thing for sure. Mm -hmm. So don't, yeah, when you saw my meal, don't think, oh my goodness. That's yeah, a like half of us at our table in our family had, had the lobster. The other half did the, um, sorry, filet mignon. And mm -hmm. that looked delicious. I didn't try it, but it, everybody's look, meal looked great and they all loved it. So that was good. Yep. So yeah, then we got a little bit of music around the ship. We went back to the Cabaret Rouge, but I know you're probably tired of seeing it, but yeah, it's always entertaining, although it is starting to repeat a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. So I'm not sure how much more of that will be doing. Yeah, no kidding. We thought maybe they would do like, you know, the jugglers doing the exact same exact stuff same. every night. So that gets a little bit boring. Yeah, so mm -hmm. even though the venue is fantastic, I just wish they'd change up the entertainment in there mm -hmm. again, so. Yeah, for sure. But good sea day. Tomorrow we hit land, or hopefully we don't run into it. We'll just kind of be near land, the dock. We dock tomorrow. <laughs> we are in Costa Maya tomorrow, Mexico. Mm-hmm. Not sure what we're doing. Well, a little bit of idea, because that's a complete fabricated thing. I do know something we're doing. <laughs> yeah, we have a plan, but we'll share that with you tomorrow. Yep. How about that? Follow us tomorrow morning. We're going to be someplace, and we're going to do something special on the ship and show you another part of the ship tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But first, get some sleep, so you're ready for tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody.